how is JC versus O level? I'm sure a lot of students are interested. So oh what, what would you say? I'm only like a little bit more than one month in JC, and I can already tell that there's like a huge difference between um, JC and O levels. Like, I was like, oh shoot, no, I have to, I have to get into that mindset much quicker than I thought I had to, mm. because not only that, I have CCA, like. So much CCA commitments, and then you also have external commitments. And trust me, everyone wants to t- try and take it all. Like I know some people that are aspiring to mm. take three CCAs, and they just they're trying to they're super ambitious. But at the end of the day, what matters the most is your A level yep. results. Do not prioritize doing all these extracurriculars and these commitments more than your A levels. And that's something I see people doing. And I was playing. I wanted to join student council, and I wanted to join a CCA. I wanted to have two CCAs, and then yeah. I realized, yeah, no, it's not going to work out that way. Because so you choose. I chose to join basketball, and I just didn't join student council because mm. it required election and campaigning, and it was, was going to be a bit more strenuous, and it was less. I was not very stable in that CCA. I wasn't sure if I was going to join yet. Right. So it made sense to join basketball instead. Nice. Is it quite competitive? Like, my, so school quite isn't, my school isn't as competitive. I think that's why I, I was able to get in. Because I had no uh, prior experience of playing. Dang, good. Okay. But yeah, so I made sure that now I can see how things are going on. And like, I can already tell that the content in JC is so much more in depth and harder. Mm. Like you're you're learning things at a much deeper level, and it's crazy to think that the stuff that you learn for O levels happens across the span of four years, but the stuff you learn in JC it's like much more harder, and it's over the course of over the span of two years. Yeah. So like for people taking O levels now, just know that you definitely can do it. You can mm. definitely have that content and like be super prepared for your O levels because A level is going to put you to a whole different level so yeah that's right that's right when I went to JC then I was like oh yeah the O level stuff uh, that's easy now <laughs> yeah, correct yeah. wow we're only one month in plus two months gonna be two months in yeah I think you will just be more reinforced in what you just said like you'll be like okay yes this is really hard <laughs> yeah it's like hard now I'm like only like I'm. I also feel like I'm lagging behind a bit. So during this March holidays was my time to like make sure that I revise things and make sure everything's in accordance to what it should be. Cause okay. you don't want to like be. That's why I hear. And also when you join JC, everyone will make it a point. All the teachers will make it a point to tell you how scary JC is gonna be. Oh, they will. They th- oh, like my <laughs> teachers did. They were like. This is a different ball game. Oh. You have no idea what you're getting into. Oh. <laughs> like they make things seem super scary. And while it is scary, um, have fun. <laughs> things are gonna be so much better if you can study and also have fun. Hmm. So my JC, I, I what what I really agree with you is that realize that A level is the most important thing out of JC. Mm. So there are all these other distractions like when you first go in, there's orientation, right? And then the orientation group will go out for social events. Mm. And then the class will have orientation. Yeah. And the class will go out every day. And then you'll waste so much time. So that's what I almost fell into that trap. And then after a while, uh, I got quite resentful, bitter. This is a me problem. Because I realized that, hey, people don't actually care. Eh. They're just going out for fun, but they don't actually care about you. They, the mm. connections are not real and deep. So I just withdrew. I became like quite a loner. I just hang out with my like secondary school friends because I'm an RI, right? So I know quite a lot of people. Then when we go to RJC together, then I just hang out with those RI people because I know them from last time. Mm. Yeah, so that was kind of good for me because if I didn't withdraw and become a bit of a loner from the rest, I would have wasted so much time with the socializing. Yeah. So much. Then what else? Um, CCA. So I chose a very good CCA. So I got into, I went to Taekwondo. And oh. then people are like, whoa, Taekwondo sounds so legit, yeah. right? But it's only one hour a week. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> it sounds good. Um, You know, it is interesting to me. And it's only one hour a week. So I have so much more time to do the stuff I want, like especially study. Uh, as when, when it's nearer to exams and stuff, you need that time. Yeah. Yeah. So it was such a good CCA to choose. So in JC, my advice is, choose a slack CCA yeah. <laughs> yeah, for strategic purposes so that your A level also benefit yeah. okay then here's another thing H3 it was, it's a distraction also because I know people who took H3 and if they didn't get 90 rank points which is all A's why in the world are you taking a H3 why 
you should get or is that your biggest priority because literally to enter the uni courses right they will have a cut off point so if you sacrifice your rank points because you wanted history then what are you doing you're like killing yourself from getting those courses that you mm-hmm. want so what really matters is just max out the rank points as m- as many subjects get a in the a levels so i managed to get 90 i'm thankful for that so it's basically now all the courses are open to me i hit all i mean there's nothing that uh, will have a kind of point which i can't hit but imagine if i took history cuz i did attend history bio one class like i i wanted to take it so i attended one lesson it was 3 hours long there were so many lecture slides i didn't understand most of it cuz the mm-hmm. teacher was just like reading off the slides so i then after that lesson i calculated okay uh, every week i'd sacrifice 3 hours mm-hmm. and read all the readings and understand myself because the teacher mm-hmm. is not helpful so how many hours am i going to waste each week i'm not going to sacrifice that yeah. so i immediately quit after one lesson and it was a good <laughs> choice like i don't regret i mean i got 90 right so if i didn't quit that i might have i probably would have hindered my uh, rank points and gotten less so a level is the most important h3 is a distraction unless mm-hmm. you are so good that oh 90 rank points is easy then okay you want a challenge take yeah. h3 yeah and then there is um the uh, ccas and all that Yeah, that's also another distraction, and s- unnecessary social events, like like you said uh, about talking to friends during yeah. all levels. I agree with that, but if you if you're just doing it for the sake of the socializing, then mm. it's a huge time suck. Yeah, and in JC, like I recognize a lot of people feel the need to socialize yeah. so that they have that social social standing, like they have that social status or they're like popular. They feel s- more safe that way. Mm-hmm. It's useless in JC, like. Is it going to help you that much? Not really. Like in the end what matters is your A levels and your uni life is probably where you want to prioritize those things those things a little bit more cuz this is just two years. Hmm. And so I know a lot of people they want to focus on going out and going to the social events because they feel like oh so I can make connections and yeah. where I can like become a bit more popular and feel better about yourself but hmm. at the end of the day is it really that useful? Yeah. No, right? It's just It just feels like something you feel like you need to do for yourself and for how you're perceived because mm. people care a lot, so much about they're perceived so but at the end of the day it's not useful so just do what benefits you the most yeah correct correct so i'm not saying don't have friends like mm. I, d- i still did you know i still have very uh relatively close those those people who i did hang out with so that's that's good that's good and by the way i was like very obsessed with gymming during my JC. So, I gym like pretty much 3 times a week and each time is like 3 4 hours sometimes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, a lot of times like talking uh to friends during the gym. But yeah. So, th- I can I could do that and still study and still get 99 points. So, that just shows you although JC is hard, but you have a lot of time actually. You have. Like now, I'm working way more than I did when I was in JC. In JC, I was like, "Oh, this is so hard." But yeah, then now I'm like, "Okay, that, that's fine." Yeah. Then did you like? Oh wait, sorry. I wanted to ask, what what's your take on taking like four H twos? Oh, I I took that. You took four H twos. That's a good question. So my father pressured me to take it, four H twos. Um, I took B C M E, bio, chem, math. I wanted H one because I'm not naturally good at math. I can good be good if I practice and spend effort, but I'm not naturally like bio. Uh. any cons okay so i wanted to have h1 math because i heard from a lot of people that h1 math is easier than my ri sec 4 math so i was like oh ri sec 4 math i think i got 4.0 gpa out of 4 which is like 80% so that means i'm good ah i can i can definitely do the h1 math and get a it's a free a so why not right and my father was like no 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 just do it because most people in rjc would take 4 h2s and then if they really cannot they die then they drop one to h1 then it would be 3h2 and 1h1 which is the norm right mm. so i wanted to to take h1 but he pressured me to take h2 and looking back it's a huge mistake cuz during the a level math paper i felt like i was going to get a c cuz i had so many questions which i didn't get the final answer and i had a lot of method marks ah okay so i had to skip some and so on 
and then when I check my answer back, it's like, oh no, it doesn't work. You know, uh. the final answer doesn't match. Then after the paper, I compare to other people. I see those online like, oh, what's the answers, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's all different. Then I'm like, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm going to get a C. But I got an A. I, can't, I really can't understand how. Okay. Oh. I, yeah. Like, that's, that's just God blessing me. So, I I got an A. But it's such a shaky A, right? Like, you, you told me near the start of today, you want to enter an exam with confidence. That was the opposite of me. So imagine if I didn't take his advice and I wasn't pressured to just conform, right? And I was like, okay, what really matters is um, getting all A's, right? So just, th- I would have taken a H1 math. Who cares if I don't learn that much in math? Because I'm not going to be an engineer or physics, mm. physicist, right? I already knew that. So I would basically not have to study much yeah. and get a free A. Then I'll be s- I have more time for my other subjects. So it was very risky of me taking four H2s. If I could do it again, I would kick out the math H2 and put H1. Because in the A-level calculation, right, the H- four H2s, one of them converts into a H1 anyway. Mm. So yeah. why, why would you take H2 and just touch the flex? Just Okay, so here are the benefits of taking four H2s. You can flex on people. You can, in the uni courses, right, some of them require H2. And I actually made a post recently on this of like, which... Uh, the, the courses that require H2 for which subjects so that if you're interested then you know okay I need to take H2 for that mm. and the last benefit is if the uni was accepting two, two different people mm. and one and you are identical but you have oh. the H2 the extra one then yeah you do look better la, on paper to the uni but yeah I don't think it was worth it the four H2s so if you like that clip Click here to watch another. And if you want to watch the full podcast, click here.